Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. You may also want to check out my self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Today's video is a reminder to all of you who are manifesting a specific person and you're on this specific person manifesting journey, that if you're spiraling about your specific person, if you are continuously reacting to the 3D, to the lack of movement, or to the 3D showing things that you don't like and you don't prefer, you're likely committing a mistake that most people, even seasoned manifestors, commit at times. And that mistake is you're seeing everything from the eyes of separation. In other words, you are seeing your specific person as being separate from you, and you are forgetting that they're actually one with you at all times. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I know and I understand when the 3D hits you in the face, especially with circumstances that you don't like, especially when it's something that's opposite to what you've been manifesting and to what you want, or when you've been manifesting for a while and you're seeing no movement, you're seeing no change, nothing is changing, nothing seems to be happening, or when you experience something manifesting that you weren't expecting and it catches you off guard and it causes you to spiral, all this, you guys, comes from the same place. And this is the place and the point of view of separation with your specific person. And when I say separation, I don't mean physical separation. I don't mean, you know, you were in a relationship and you broke up. I mean separation in the consciousness level. I mean separation in the spiritual level and in the level of your higher selves, which is actually the level you're tapping into when you're manifesting your specific person and when you're manifesting a different version of them, a different version of the relationship and a different reality between them and you. So I've said before in other videos, we're all one. We all share this oneness. We're all individual expressions of this one consciousness that keeps the universe moving. So every time you spiral about something, every time you start having doubts, every time you start having anxiety about what's going to happen with your specific person, every time you get frustrated um, about no movement in the 3D, every time you feel resentful or angry towards them or any other unpleasant feeling, all of these times, you are thinking, feeling, and acting from a place of separation. You are not seeing yourself as one with your specific person. You are failing, quote unquote, to realize that you are one with your specific person at all times. You are always connected with your specific person through the one consciousness that we all share. That means that you're also energetically connected with their energy, just as they are connected with your energy. And so what you're doing is that you're funneling your dominant thoughts, your dominant reactions, your dominant expectations, your dominant energy and your dominant state towards them, which they then receive subconsciously and they are compelled to reflect back to you whatever it is that you are dominantly projecting towards them. And I'm not telling you that for you to start beating yourself up, for you to start feeling guilty, for start to feeling less than and why am I a failure at manifesting? Why can I not get this? It's okay. It's actually very normal to forget at times. We all fall into that trap, myself included. We all often fall into that trap of regarding other people as separate from us, as if our energy and what we project towards them has no effect whatsoever on them. And yet, those of you who have been manifesting for any amount of time, you know that this is simply untrue. Your energy is always projected, always funneled towards your SP 24-7. So whatever your dominant energy is at each given time, they receive it subconsciously, you guys. This means that if the reflection you are seeing from them continuously is a reflection that you don't prefer, a reflection that doesn't align with what you want and with the reality that you're manifesting, then that means that either you're not persisting enough in your state of the wish fulfilled or there is something else off. Because there is no way if you change your state, if you change your dominant energy towards them, 
that they're not going to reflect that back to you. So if the reflection you see is still a reflection that you don't prefer in one way or another, then that means that something in the energy that they're receiving from you, something in your dominant inner state that they're subconsciously receiving from you is off or perhaps not strong enough, especially if you have a lot of back and forth and you're wavering a lot, perhaps it doesn't become strong enough for it to become dominant and for it to be projected towards them in a strong, very consistent, very compelling way. And by the way, this has nothing to do with manipulation. You yourself are a mirror of other people, of other people's dominant assumptions, energies, states, etc. Just as other people are the mirrors of your dominant assumptions, energies, states, and so on. All of us in this reality are interconnected in that way. We receive each other's energy and we are subconsciously compelled to reflect that dominant energy towards the other person. So if you're still reacting a lot to your SP and to your manifestation, you are likely forgetting that you are one with your specific person. You are likely still seeing them as separate from you and you're not realizing, at least on a certain level, that by changing your own energy towards them, your own state and your own perceptions, which are automatically going to alter your energy that you project towards them, you are going to change them in the sense that they are going to be compelled to reflect back to you what you are dominantly projecting towards them. So they're going to be compelled to show up as a different version of themselves that aligns with whatever the dominant energy is that you're projecting their way. Whether that energy is negative, positive, neutral, whatever it is, they are going to match it. And that's not because you're manipulating them. That's not because you're controlling their mind. It's nothing like that. It all has to do with how we're all energetically connected to each other, how we're all one, and how we all participate in this one consciousness. So you want to realize and remember as much as possible that you are always one with your specific person. There is no separation. And what you see in the 3D is nothing but a reflection of your own dominant projections. That means if you don't like the reflection, you need to change the projections. Once you do, and once that becomes consistent and dominant, your specific person is going to show up as a different version of themselves to match that new projection, that shifted projection. So remember that every time you doubt, every time you spiral, every time you start feeling resentful, always remember that you share a oneness with your specific person. Try not to forget that. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content, I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.